this boy, let me get a little picture. Look how frothy that is. In the eye of a hurricane, it is quiet. Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. And if you're new here, my name is Alyssa. Hope you stick around. Thanks for stopping by. And I hope you guys are having a good day. It's been a really good day. We went to the store, got some things for dinner. So today I'm going to be making buffalo cauliflower wings. I'm pretty excited about it. I'm not sure how Keith's going to like it, but I think it's going to be good. And we're also going to make garlic, carrot, air fryer, french fries. So let's go ahead and get started. So here's the recipe that we're going to be working with today. I found this on Pinterest, and don't forget to follow me on Pinterest as well because I post a lot of awesome recipes, home decor stuff. I'm also in the middle of watching Supergirl right now, so let me know in the comments if you're watching that because I stinking love that show. And here's the other recipe that I'm working with for the garlic parmesan carrot fries. Okay, before I even get started, I just want to let you guys know that I have never cooked steaming cauliflower and I've never made carrot or used carrots. So. Don't come for me if I'm not doing anything right. To start off, you're gonna wanna go ahead and take off this bottom part of the cauliflower. You're not gonna need it at all. And then you can just throw that away. And then I started to cut off that base because you're not gonna need that as well. And then cut the cauliflower in half. And as you can see, I continue to just cut off that base and get to the head of the cauliflower because that's the main part we're gonna be working with. Whenever I was doing this, I didn't realize how stinking messy it got. So mental note for later. As you guys already know, I'm gluten-free, so I'm going to be using this all-purpose flour, gluten-free flour, instead of regular flour. Last year I thought about how things can come around just like that if everyone is here to celebrate one day. So another way to make this day free is to use almond milk instead of regular milk, and so that's what I'll be using today. Once you have it all mixed up, what you're going to want to do is to go ahead and dump all the cauliflower bits in there and really get it covered up and really take your time with this part and make sure it's fully coated because that's what really makes a difference is when it has a really thick coating. An additional thing I did was add breadcrumbs. So all I did was put garlic powder and salt inside of it and then I mixed it up and then I'm going to dump the wings in that. So I couldn't find a pan that would like fully fit this and I also didn't have like straight up parchment paper so I'm just going to go ahead and use this pre-cut parchment paper. Ah! This year I think about how I'm so lucky to have a place that I can come home to. Yes I am on my way. Here's what some of them look like without the breadcrumbs, so I really wanted to make sure to try it both ways. So I did half with breadcrumbs and half without it. Guys. So, Keith is like the sweetest husband ever. So today, when we went to Walmart, I was telling him how I wanted to get a milk frother because you guys know I love me some coffee. And so instead of getting me like the little one, this boy let me get an electric one. <laughs> it, I don't even know what color it is. I just looked it over and saw that there's a back that has white. So it could be black, it could be white. We're about to find out. So while that stuff is about to start cooking, I'm gonna go ahead and make some coffee because I also, Order this really, really, really cute mug from Amazon, and it's so cute. I have a Keurig. I've been using a lot of K cups, but I really wanted to try like fresh coffee. I went ahead and bought one of those little inserts that you can put like coffee grinds into it, and then you like put it up and use it as a regular Keurig. So we are about to go and test out this here milk frother. Is that how you say it? Milk frother? Frother sounds so weird. It was part of my Christmas gift, so. I excited, so let's go finish up. All right, let's open this bad boy up and see what it is. Okay. And it is black. I've never used a milk frother before, so. Oh. Hey, oh, this is really fine. cute. No, fine. Okay, we got some cords and instruction manual that I'll probably ignore. Wow, this thing is thick. Yo. Anything else? No, that's it. You guys, this thing feels so stinking good. Ah. 
Watch a choir, what's going on? on? Yeah. Got some of this yeah, stuff. Whoa! Jeez, wait, let's not break it before we use it. Okay. Gonna so then it goes like this. Oh. And drink our chocolate by the fire. Mm. How do you make it? How do you make it froth? Oh, I'm stupid. You gotta put milk in it. <laughs> These came in a box of six, which was really cool. I'm super excited for this little coffee station thing. So we have the coffee sign and the milk frother and the Keurig. So I couldn't decide which one to get at the store, so I went ahead and got two. Um, Keith actually suggested this one, so that's what we're gonna be working with. I think I'm gonna try this one out first. Let me know if you guys have ever had this before. Hopefully this actually works. I didn't look any of this up. I'm just kind of winging it. I love these stinking mugs so much. They're like the double walled one and it's so cute. And it has a little surprise in it. I was so excited. Okay, so I really love using this oatly milk. It's so stinking good. So I'm just gonna pour that. So this may be weird, but I think I'm going to pour a little bit of vanilla in here. Don't judge me. I'm just winging it. Guys, look how frothy that is. When it came down to making the different sauces, I used Moore's original buffalo wing sauce and then added lemon and some melted butter. And then for the barbecue sauce, I just used Sweet Baby Ray's Honey Barbecue. I didn't have a brush for these, so I just kind of put a spoonful on all of them. I'm going to dump them in the leftover sauce once it's all done. Here's Keith cooking up the carrots. Cutting up the carrots because I can do myself. In the eye of a hurricane, there is quiet. In just a moment. For the carrots, you're going to go ahead and take the garlic and olive oil mixture and put it on top of the carrots. And after you have prepped your dry ingredients, go ahead and just dump it on top of the prepped carrots and make sure that when you're mixing it, you do a really good job because that's where the flavor is coming from. Now it's time to dump the wings in the sauce. Make sure you do a really good coating on it. And I also did it with the buffalo sauce as well. Okay, so we have pasta, um, the carrot fries, and the good old stuff. The good old stuff. I'm excited for you to try this. I'm not too bad. Try the carrot. I don't taste a little bit of flavor. It doesn't taste too bad. Taste. You said there's a little bit of flavor? Okay, try another one. If you like that biting, it's like a pepper. Yeah. Whoa. There we go. There we go. Whoa. Yep, yep. You better put some of that um pasta in there. It said, I put the amount that it said, and it's like a lot. Wow. Not as bad as I thought it was gonna be. Considering yeah. it's cauliflower and carrots. Hey guys, I totally realized that I left you hanging with that last night and just wanna give you a little bit of a, an update as to what happened. So we ate it and we both realized that the ones that didn't have like the breadcrumbs on it weren't the best. We realized that the barbecue sauce didn't do a good job at hiding the fact that it wasn't real meat. Buffalo was really, really good. The bread, wait, the breadcrumb ones. The ones that didn't have it, like I said, weren't the best. If you hear clicking and stuff, that's just Keith right there. He's playing video games. So I loved the stinking garlic Parmesan carrots. They were so stinking good. I wish that I would have left it in there a little bit longer because the crispier it was, the better it tasted. But I was a little scared this first round to burn it. So I was like, eh, no, we gotta take it out. And so I realized now to leave it in there and you'll get better better results. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and if you liked it go ahead and give it a big thumbs up and let me know if you want more videos like this. Me back in the kitchen cooking up things that I've never made before because there's a lot of things that your girl has never made and I'm just kind of winging it and it's really fun. I like to cook and I like to experiment with different things so if you guys liked it go ahead and leave me a comment and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!